All right. Uh, we talked about Project 2025. We've talked about it several times. This is a project of the Heritage Foundation. It's a project that is basically put out there, a, a, this massive document of uh, uh, position papers, uh, position papers and pretty much, not, not everything, but a lot of the issues facing America. Some of it is very good. Some of it is really, really bad. But what's unique about 2025 is they've come out with, this is what we stand for. This is what a conservative administration stands for. This is what we believe if Donald Trump gets elected, this is what he will stand for. These are the things he will implement. And, and we are, by the way, at the same time as, as the 900-page document of Project 2025, we are also screening people so that we can place them in the administration. Well, it turns out Donald Trump is unbelievably unhappy about this. Not a little bit unhappy, but over the top, going crazy, firing people unhappy about this. You're fired unhappy about this. Uh, and so um, why is he unhappy? So but basically what he's done is, A, he said this has nothing to do with me, it's not my campaign, it has nothing to do with I don't believe in it. These are crazy, really, really, really out there people. These are people who are, uh, you know, real radical. They're, they're extremists. They're all extremists. I want to have nothing to do with them. Um, and um, I, I don't believe in their agenda. Which is interesting, right? Because what does he believe in exactly? And uh, my guess is he doesn't agree with the good stuff that's in the agenda. Uh, and then the next step was that Donald Trump basically made such a stink about it yesterday that Project 2025 basically has been put on a halt, at least parts of it. They fired uh, the chief intellectual inspiration behind it. Heritage Foundation has fired him. They've dissolved, I guess, the some of the functions within Project 2025. Heritage is still committed to a conservative agenda. Um, uh, but then, uh, you know, uh, the Trump campaign yesterday put out a statement. President Trump campaign has been very clear for over a year that Project 2025 had nothing to do with the campaign, did not speak for the campaign, and should not be associated with the campaign or the president in any way. Reports of Project 2025's demise, demise would be greatly welcomed and should serve as notice to anyone or any group trying to misrepresent their influence with President Trump and his campaign. It will not end well for you. <laughs> now, why? Why is this going on? This is a massive split within the MAGA. Project 2025 was a MAGA was a mega project. I mean, J.D. Vance wrote the foreword to the 2025 book. This is what national conservatives, mega conservatives wanted, Project 2025. And yet Trump is running away from it and actually actively undermining it. And as I said, the, the project's demise is, is, is before us. Well. I mean, there are two reasons for this. One, what Project 2025 has written is just not popular with voters, at least not voters' understanding of it. As I've told you many times, voters are not interested in eliminating the Department of Education. Voters are not interested in actually shrinking the role of government, including conservative voters. They don't want it. And... Uh, it's, it's just hurting, particularly independents and, and, and some Republicans, it's hurting Trump. But I think the more, I think the fact that it's, so Trump wants to be able to court voters and, and he wants to be able to say to voters whatever he wants to say. He wants to be able to tell voters whatever he wants to tell. By the way, Project 2025 did not address Social Security and Medicare for exactly this reason. They didn't want to offend voters. It turned out that even that wouldn't take. 2025 is also quite theocratic, negates the separation of student, state and church. And Trump is trying to diminish the whole abortion issue. He's trying to not make a big deal about religion, 
although he did choose J.D. Vance as his VP, so that's not exactly consistent. Uh, so, yeah, so we've got we've got uh, a a, um, uh, a, uh, a, a the fact that it's unpopular with voters, and Trump wants to have the flexibility to go in any direction he wants in order to attract voters. But there's another reason he doesn't like Project 2025. And if you read his kind of presentation of the Republican platform, you, you really get uh, you really get a sense of that. That what he doesn't like about it is it's, it's a bunch of principles. It actually has some internal logic. Not that I agree with that logic, but it has some. It actually lays out clear positions. Trump is more than anything else anti-principles, anti-ideas, anti-programs, projects, plans, strategy, He's a pragmatist. You do whatever you can, whenever you can. You lie, you cheat, you steal, you do what you have to do in order to get what you want to get. So, you know, Trump doesn't want to be limited by principles. He wants a free hand. And he actually, I think he actually finds principles disgusting, offensive, horrific. That's who is probably going to be the next president of the United States. Somebody who, on principle, is opposed to principles of all kinds. The worst pragmatist who's ever been president of the United States. He's probably going to get a second term. Anyway, uh, Project 2025, at least in this incarnation, seems to be on its death throes.